Does a diagnosis of heart failure mean your heart is about to fail? Does it shorten your lifespan? Does it put you at risk of sudden death? And what can a heart failure patient do to increase both their quantity and quality of life? Hi, in this video we'll be doing an overview of what heart failure is, the signs and symptoms, the different stages of heart failure, its management and how long one can expect to live once diagnosed. All jargon will be explained so anyone can understand this video. Definition of heart failure. Heart failure aka congestive heart failure simply means that the heart is unable to pump enough blood to meet the demands of the body. It usually occurs because the heart has become too weak or stiff. It does not mean that the heart is imminently about to fail, although sudden cardiac arrest is a possibility and I'll explain why shortly. A normal heart has strong muscular walls which contracts and pumps blood adequately to all parts of the body. In heart failure, the weakened and enlarged heart muscle cannot pump enough blood to meet the demands of the body. The main symptoms of heart failure are breathlessness after activity or at rest, feeling tired most of the time and finding exercise exhausting, swollen ankles and legs. Some people also experience other symptoms such as persistent cough, a fast heart rate and dizziness. Symptoms can develop quickly i.e. acute heart failure or gradually over weeks or months i.e. chronic heart failure. There are four different stages of heart failure based on the symptoms. In stage one there is cardiac disease based on tests but no limitation of actual physical activity. In stage two there are mild symptoms for example shortness of breath or chest tightness during ordinary activity. In stage three there is significant limitation of activity due to symptoms patients are typically only comfortable at rest. In stage 4 there is very severe limitation with symptoms present even whilst at rest. Causes of heart failure. There are many possible causes of heart failure. The most common one is coronary artery disease, a disorder that causes narrowing of the arteries that supply blood and oxygen to the heart. Risk factors of coronary artery disease itself include genetics, smoking, diabetes, high cholesterol and high blood pressure. Other possible causes of heart failure include heart valve issues, inherited conditions such as hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, irregular heart rhythms, and alcohol and substance abuse. We featured a few wrestlers on this channel and a common theme amongst many of them who prematurely passed away when we look at their autopsy reports is that we see enlarged hearts which is a characteristic sign of heart failure. Both anabolic steroid use and growth hormone can result in an enlarged heart. In a study by Montgomery et al and others in 2004 an echocardiogram studies of athletes who trained with anabolic steroids demonstrated enlargement of the left ventricle the largest and most powerful chamber of the heart responsible for pumping oxygenated blood around the body. We've even highlighted in detail how one particular wrestler, the Ultimate Warrior, commented on other wrestlers who, when they died prematurely, their autopsy reports demonstrated large hearts from steroid abuse. Wrestlers take the steroids so they can look healthy on the outside, but they do everything else that make them, makes them rotten on the Warrior, inside. Warrior, did you know and the Benoit? Autopsies that reveal, the autopsies that reveal that they have enlarged hearts and uh, other organs that have been affected by the steroids. The irony being, as we've seen, he himself died from the consequences of heart failure and having an enlarged heart. The diagnosis of heart failure is typically comprised of three stages. Clinical suspicion, i.e. when there are symptoms suggesting heart failure. A blood test, here in the UK this is called BNP blood test, which is typically raised if someone has heart failure. And finally, the diagnostic test of an echocardiogram, an ultrasound scan of the heart. You can also see evidence of an enlarged heart on a chest x-ray, but echocardiogram is the diagnostic test. There is no cure for heart failure, but there are various treatments that can help manage manage the symptoms and help prolong the life of a heart failure patient. These include various medications which include anything from beta blockers to water tablets. I won't go into details about which medications as this can vary from country to country and between different guidelines. Secondly, we can have devices implanted into the heart. The reason for this is when a heart enlargens, there is scar tissue and this puts a person at great risk of an arrhythmia, which means an abnormal electrical conduction and sudden cardiac arrest. A device such as an ICD, which stands for implantable cardioverter defibrillator, can help prevent or correct any dangerous arrhythmias. Surgery is another option. For example, if a particular heart valve is responsible for causing heart failure, Arnold Schwarzenegger, for example has had both his aortic valve and his pulmonary valve replaced. Arnold is definitely a good example of someone using both money and modern technology to essentially keep going. He's mentioned in the past how his mother had heart valve issues and died of cardiac complications. Although she was 76 at the time of death, I can see Arnold living past that age despite his well-documented use of steroids in the past. Heart transplant is in theory also an option for some heart failure patients. Although this is major surgery, the quality of life can be poor afterwards and the availability of hearts for transplant 
is always an issue. Prognosis. The prognosis or outlook of heart failure is generally quite poor. A literature review in the British Journal of General Practice in 2017 concluded that after diagnosis of heart failure, approximately 10 to 20% were dead within a year, 50% were dead within 5 years, and 70% dead within 10 years of diagnosis. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful as an overview of heart failure. Be sure to hit that like, subscribe and notifications button to keep learning. Any comments or questions, please post below. Until next time, stay safe.